Lucy Fallon, hello, how are you? Hello, I am very well, thank you. How are you? I'm not too bad. Uh, Lucy, I must admit, um, before I did this interview, uh, my friend James lost his mind because he is a <laughs> huge fan of Coronation Street. So oh, really? I <laughs> promised him that, uh, that I'd say uh, hello from James to you. Hi, James. <laughs> um, Lucy, of course, we're not here to chat about James today, uh, unfortunately. Uh, we're here to chat about Sour Hall, uh, which is the new horror podcast. Now, horror and podcast, I, I, t- I never thought those two would ever kind of mix well together. I know, but believe me, it does. It does mm-hmm. mix well together. And you know what? I think um, it's because I love horror. I'm a bit kind of like horror obsessed. I always try and put something else on, but I will always put like a horror film on, bit weird, but it's fine. Um, And I think it's like just an immersive, it's so creepy, it's so creepy, but it just, it really works. Yeah, and it, it, was it that creepiness and that kind of uh, appeal to horror that that drew you to the project in general? Yeah, I think so. I think, first of all, like it's completely different to anything that I've ever done before. Um, an audio series. I, I've never even really like heard of it as a thing, like you just said. Mm. Um, and yeah, I think that first and foremost, but also the fact that it is a horror and I do really love horrors. Um, but I think the script as well, it's, it's a, a really great script. Laura, who wrote it, like it did an amazing job with the script. So when I read the script, I, I wanted to do it. Um, so, yeah. And, you know, uh, just looking at the filming pictures, uh, when I say filming pictures, that is also quite new because I'd assume that because it's a podcast, it was purely just in a recording studio and you just yeah, kind yeah. of, you know, recorded it there. Um, but you actually filmed it out on location. Am I right? We did. Yeah, we did. We we recorded it in um, uh, like a, a farm in, in Yorkshire somewhere. Um, and so it felt like we were actually on set and we were doing it. So because obviously when I've got the script, I assumed as well that we'd been in recording studio. Um, but it was just so much better that we were actually on location it, and we were there for the week of Halloween as well. Wow. <laughs> so it was all just very creepy. So it very- You must have been shit scared. <laughs> <laughs> I- <laughs> I, I would have been like, no, not doing it. Oh, uh, do you know, I, I think I'm actually a bit weird because I love things like that. I was like, yes, get me involved. Halloween, weird farm, not don't know any of these people meeting for the first time filming a horror. Oh, great. Yeah. And um, you worked with the amazing Pearl Mackey. Um, she had a, a very, much like yourself, uh, had a successful career. She had a successful career on Doctor Who. What was yeah. it like working with Pearl? Um, it was great. It was great. We just, it, she was just one of those people that was so easy to get on with. We like just click straight away. And um, she's amazing as well. Like she proper throws herself into it. Um, and, and it also made me feel like, yeah, I'm going to really throw myself into it as well. So it just, it made me feel quite relaxed. And um, so, but yeah, it was great working with her. Mm-hmm. And um, Sour Hall itself is a binaural audio drama. And, and I sort of had to Google that to actually find out what it is. Yeah. Um, but what, what does that entail? It's kind of, so basically we use this like um, dummy head um, and we record it. So it's got like two ears on either side and you record the sound in each ear. So yeah. as you're listening to it, it kind of feels like it's all going around you, um, yeah. which makes it it's quite immersive and sort of, yeah, it makes it so creepy. Um, and I found that so weird as well, having to, because I, I obviously had to record parts where my character sort of becomes the boggart. And um, yeah, it was really, really weird. And we got to listen to it back as we were doing it. And it's just so creepy. Sound. Well, is it a bit like um, ASMR? Do you know what ASMR yeah, is? I do actually, yeah. yeah. Yeah, a little bit like that, I guess. Yeah. Um, but w- was it weird to listen to it back? Because obviously you're getting scared shitless when you're out there doing it. <laughs> and then and then suddenly um, you listen to it back. Is it is it just as scary or, or, or is it is it different? I'd say like obviously because it, I know that it's my voice and it's Pearl's voice and it's everybody that like we worked with over that like week um that may be not not so scary for me because obviously like I'm listening to like oh I, I, like I'm listening to what I sound like and I'm yeah. judging myself um so maybe not for me but I, obviously for everybody else we've I had quite like really good feedback from it as well people saying that they were really scared yeah um and uh you know to somebody who has no idea what sour hall is actually all about tell us a little bit more about the plot so it's a about an interracial couple um george and uh ash who are a gay couple they go to 
Yorkshire. They go to move to Yorkshire to live in a farm that George, my character, has inherited. And spooky things start to happen. There is a, a boggart, which if you don't know what a boggart is, it's kind of like a spirit ghost type thing mm-hmm. um, that starts to do horrible things to them. Um, and then the ending is actually, it's quite a good ending. It's a, it's a good story. It makes you feel quite empowered at the end, I'd say. Yeah. And how can we all listen to uh, Sour Hall? Sour Hall is available on Audible to go and listen to. Go and listen to plug, it. Plug, 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 plug. Um, Lucy, um, thank you so much for having a chat with me today um, and best of luck with it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.